Hello and welcome back to my fridge. So we have some rice. Ugh. But today I don't want rice, I want some carbonara. Creamy sanic with specks. So I need my bacon and carbonara sauce. What else do we need? Oh, mushrooms. So I've already prepared the pasta to save some time. I would never waste your precious time. So I guess same as before, we just need to pair the mushrooms a little bit. It's quite a lot of mushrooms you get. Oh, why is there this weird stringy thing in there? Looks like hair. Prepare your mushrooms. We need to prepare the mushrooms. Mushrooms are weird looking things, aren't they? Are they vegetables? I guess they're kind of like vegetables, aren't they? And then we need some spring onions, which I put in this- OW! Stupid candle. Put my spring onions in this glass of water, so... Maybe they'll grow and they'll have infinite onions. We won't have to buy any more. So, cut some onions off. Do you think it hurts the onion when I'm cutting it? No, Daniel, don't cut me in half. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I think we need smaller mushrooms because it has to go into the pasta. Oh, it's so painful using these left handed scissors, digging into my thumb. It's so annoying. I think that's small enough for the mushrooms. Yep. Yep, yep. And then add some bacon. Looking good. This mushroom's a bit big. Next, we're going to add the pasta um, to the frying pan and turn off, turn the heat down to low heat and then you get your carbonara sauce and then pour it straight on like that. Oh, I forgot my peas. And then mix that around. Mix it about. We might need more carbonara sauce. Smells pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to add a tiny bit more sauce. Oh look, there's enough for another serving. Pretty good. It's kind of strange to have sauce in a cardboard box. You think of a cardboard box, you think of cereal, not pasta sauce. Wow, that actually looks quite good. If I do say so myself. 
hopefully it's not too salty. Okay, I think that's pretty well mixed. Ta-da! Looks pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's pretty good. I don't want to sound like I'm boasting, but this is really good. The bacon and the peas go really well with the creaminess. I actually made a good meal without messing it up. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> so I want to talk about my recent video, the Filthy Frank video. Right now it has about 14,000 views, which I think is not bad. It's not amazing. It's not 20,000, but I'll take 14,000 if it means I can keep certain parts of my life private and I don't have to damage relationships between me and people that I care about. Um, yeah, I was quite pleased with the feedback from the video as well. A lot of people found it funny, which was the whole point. The whole point was was to have like a, a cynical, sarcastic, kind of tongue-in-cheek rant about these tiny Japanese channels blowing up. And I feel like I achieved that. Obviously, there were still some idiots in the comment section not understanding that I was joking when I said stuff like, I don't have an accent. This is just how words sound when they're pronounced properly. Had a couple people have a go at me saying that, Daniel, you don't pronounce everything properly either. And you make gr grammatical mistakes as well. Yeah, I know. That's the whole point. It's called a joke. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. And I even got a couple thousand views on that Filthy Frank video from search results. When I checked Discovery, it said about 17% of the views came from people searching Japanese reaction to Filthy Frank and Filthy Frank stuff. So that could be something I could continue doing. Ouch. I could continue making videos about topics that people are searching for, which is something I don't usually do for some reason. And I still, I, f I feel like it's amazing my channel has lasted this long without me making any videos about popular topics or trending things. Something I've always avoided because I'm, n I'm never really that interested in what's trending or what's popular. I'm more interested in talking about what's going on with me and what I'm doing. And maybe that's why the channel hasn't really been growing at all. It's because I'm not making videos about topics that could reach new people. I'm just constantly making videos about my own life. And people don't really know about me because I'm not this massively huge, hugely well-known person. So I am starting to feel like this is a good time to shift from making content entirely about my private life to cutting back, cutting down a bit on sharing my private life. Obviously, I still share some of it, just just not when it comes to relationships and girls. I still want to stick by what I said a couple months ago. And I think I should start shifting towards making kind of commentary videos, giving my opinions on popular subjects, maybe. It just takes a little bit more work because I have to do research. I guess I don't have to. I could just talk a load of rubbish. That's what I do in most of my videos anyway. <laughs> when do I ever do research and actually talk about things and, and say things that make sense? So what do I do every day these days? I've just been concentrating on making videos because um, I'm going to be busy. Hopefully, I will be busy. Um, next week So I've been preparing a backlog of videos. I've prepared about five videos now that what was that? Oh, that? Scared me someone slammed the door 
So I've been just focusing on making lots of videos that I can upload later when I need when I need to. And after I finish making videos, I do some exercise. I'm doing about 100 push-ups a day, I think maybe more. I can usually do about 30 push-ups in a row, which is pretty good. I was struggling to even do 15 when I began. But now I can do about, I can blitz through 20 easily. And then the final 10 or 12 is a bit of a struggle. So I do about four of those. So I do about 100 push-ups in a day. There's actually a video I found from this other guy who did the same thing. He did 100 push-ups a day for 30 days. And then he measured um, he measured his body before and after. And the size of his biceps and his arms and shoulders actually got bigger by about an inch and a half by doing that every day. So I'm not sure if it's just my imagination, but I do feel like my arms, my shoulders, my chest area has gotten a bit bigger. So that's quite encouraging. I'm going to carry on doing push-ups. I made this makeshift dumbbell. There's no weights here, so I found a fire extinguisher and then four books, and I put them into my shopping bag, and then I used a broomstick, put that onto the handles as like a handlebar to lift, but I don't think it's a very good idea. My shoulder joint feels a bit painful, actually. Maybe it's not very good to lift that. I just really want something to lift. I feel like just doing push-ups is not enough. I want to do some pull-ups as well. Maybe I could find a gym or just buy some dumbbells, but then if I buy dumbbells, I have to take them around with me and it's pretty heavy. And then after I finished making videos and doing cooking videos and doing some OnlyFans stuff and exercising, it's usually about 6 p.m. by then, so I make dinner and then I would turn on the TV. It's German TV. There is Netflix and YouTube and stuff, but I'm too lazy to log in. So I just watch German TV. I'm watching a lot of history channels, kind of like, um, what's, what's that show we had in England? Impressive Engineering or something like that. They have a show kind of like that here as well, but it's all in German. And I don't really understand what they're saying because they dub over the English in German. But I feel like I'm picking up a few words. I think D-I-E and Das means the. And I think Mit, M-I-T, means with. And I think uh, Flug means fly, or is it Flug? I know Flughafen is airport. I have no idea how to pronounce it. China is Sheena. What else do I know? I know Eingang and Ausgang, entrance exit. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm picking up a few words here and there. I'm not really trying to learn it, so <laughs> it's, I guess it's not very impressive. Uh, what else do I do? Oh, I play Mortal Kombat whilst watching TV. It's just kind of annoying because at this Airbnb, for some reason I can't connect my Switch to the Wi-Fi. He set it up in this way that won't let Switches connect to it. I don't know why. And I don't know how to, to change the settings of the Wi-Fi. I looked around the Airbnb for the Wi-Fi box. Can't find it. And there's a locked door with a closet, so it might be in there. But I don't know where he's put the Wi-Fi box. So what I have to do is I have to use my phone data as a mobile hotspot and then connect my switch to the mobile hotspot. And it works okay, but it's kind of laggy sometimes. Not every time, but there is a fair amount of lag and it kind of sucks when you're trying to play Mortal Kombat online. It really is a good game. It really has, it has fulfilled my cravings for a multiplayer online game that... That used to be the reason why I was addicted to Rainbow Six. But Mortal Kombat is pretty fun as well. I like it. My favourite character is probably... Well, my main character used to be Baraka, but I got bored. And then I switched to Sub-Zero, then I got bored. And then now I'm playing mainly Raiden, or Raiden. He's quite fun to play.